I'm David Silver, and today I'll be going through an overview of using Cisco Intersight to deploy a VMware vSphere cluster. I'll start in Intersight's infrastructure service, and from the server's table view, I can select servers, and then I can go select an action under VMware to deploy a vSphere cluster. From the execute workflow menus, I can go in and set up all the needed settings for deploying the cluster. Uh, that will include which organization it's in and what workflow is going to be run from Cloud Orchestrator. In the Profile Configuration section, here I'll select Create New, and the workflow will actually create all the needed profiles and policies for me. I'll specify server template name, policy prefix. I do need to choose which model of server I'll be installing to, so I need to know that from my inventory. And I can select a firmware version, which will also be updated boot options and this needs to match what I have conf what is available on the server and then other details and behind the scenes all these will be policies but I'll set up my UUID pools and IMC access details which includes the VLAN used for IMC access and the IP pool and other network settings needed for IMC or management controller connectivity. I'll also specify an IMC user and then I will go in and set up LAN connectivity and these are for the virtual network interfaces or VNICs that I'll be configuring on the server. Um, those will all go under LAN connectivity policies created by this deployment workflow but I'll set up my VLAN settings, the MAC address pools and at that point I can click Next. For server assignment, the servers were selected for me already based on what I selected in the server's table view. Moving on to operating system images, I'll need to go pick out an ESXi image that's in my software repository within Intersight, and here I'll pick an 8.0 image. And then I also need to pick a SCU or server configuration utility image. Uh, you will want to check the SCU release notes to see what version of SCU is needed for the server type and ESXi image version you're using. Once I've selected those, I'll finish out with the cluster configuration. This will include setting up my root password for my ESXi hosts, network settings for those. Uh, I have two servers here, so I do need to put in two host names, pick a management network ID, VLAN ID. I'm going to be using static settings, so I'll set my IP address and other needed network settings. And once all those are in place, I'll select my data center. This is coming from Intersight's vCenter inventory, so you want to make sure your vCenter is already connected so this is visible. But I'll add this cluster to an existing data center, give it a name, and at that point I'm ready to execute the workflow. Now we'll take a look at monitoring the cluster deployment. So from the top ribbon, I can select the request check mark, and I can go look at that deploy vSphere cluster workflow. And this will show me details on what's going on with each task being run behind the scenes by Cloud Orchestrator. And after a little while, I see that I've got a failure and I can show more data to see that I've got an issue with MTU configuration between my VNIC and my domain profile. So now I'll take a look at workflow rollback and resolving those issues that have been pointed out. So in the upper right, I've got a button to roll back. And this actually will go roll back the execution. So I should get back in a state where everything's cleaned up and I can go redo the configuration after resolving any issues. I'll go ahead and execute that. And then I'll see in the request that I've got a rollback underway and I can watch that progress. So the issue I had is uh, unique to my setup, but I will need to go in and edit my domain profile. I won't spend a lot of time going through this. Um, but the thing I needed to do there is go into my QoS policy and that was called out in the error and I need to change that best effort MTU to match what's on the VNIC. So I'll set that to 9000 to match what's on the VNIC, do a deployment of my domain profile and once that's complete I'm ready to go back and redeploy my vSphere cluster. With my issues resolved I'll now navigate into Intersight Cloud Orchestrator. And from here, I can look at that vSphere cluster deployment workflow. And if I select that, 
under history, I can see my past executions, including my recent failure. And I've got a button there in the middle, upper middle of the screen to clone this execution. And this will allow me to reuse all those settings I previously set up so I don't have to all re-enter them. Um, I am going to add a dash clone to all of the names. Uh, and not necessary in all cases um, after a rollback, but just so I don't have any conflicts, I'm going to go ahead and rename things so that I don't conflict with anything previously set up. And I do have to go re-enter credentials like the IMC user password and under vSphere cluster configuration, the root password. And I'll finish out here by giving it a new cluster name and I'll re-execute this workflow. And it takes a little while to do it, so I won't uh, go through that whole thing. But after a while, this is successful. And I can go look at that cluster added to my vSphere. So in vSphere, I'm looking at the SJC07 data center where I added the cluster. And I see that I've got those two hosts I configured healthy within that cluster. Thank you very much for the time. And be sure and visit intersite.com help for more information.